Today you are going to learn the difference between MCB and RCCB, miniature circuit breaker and residual current circuit breaker. We can also call it as RCD, the residual current device. I am electrical engineer, please don't skip this video because you are going to get very important knowledge about this one. About this MCB, it only gives the protection against overcurrent. Because your circuit is for the 16 ampere circuit, then when your circuit's current is more than the 16 ampere, then this MCB will trip and protect your circuit. But about the RCD, it is activated only when there is a residual current, means the leakage current. Okay, so what is here this leakage current? If on your electrical equipment, for example an iron box, any current passes to the earth means it is a leakage current. At that time, the RCD will trip. And here the MCB is available only up to the 63 ampere rating. Okay, and if you see a 63 ampere MCB, then before this 63 ampere, you can see it's an alphabet C or B, D, just like that. See, it indicates the curves of this MCB. The different curves allows different inrush current. For example, if it is a B curve, then it will allow 3 to 5 times of the rated current. Suppose if it is a C curve, then it will allow 5 to 10 times of the rated current of this circuit breaker. But about this RCD, before this uh, 63 ampere, you can see any of these curves, this alphabet, because it is not operating regarding to the overcurrent. Okay, but here in the RCD, you can see an extra thing that is this I delta N. This I delta N indicates the leakage current. You can see this I delta N as 30 milliampere or 10 milliampere, 100, 300, 500 milliampere. Suppose our RCD is for this 30 milliampere, then if our circuit's leakage current is more than this 30 milliampere, then the RCD will trip and protect us. And here for the RCD, only up to 63 ampere current is available in the market. The cost of this MCB is less. But about this RCD, its cost will be around 3 to 4 times than the MCB. You can see a manual switch on or off button on the top of the MCB. On here also on the RCD, you can see the same manual switch on or off button. But here we can see an extra setup. That is the reset button. With the help of this reset button, we could check the working condition of the RCCB. If this RCD is on good working condition and if we press that reset button, then the RCD will automatically trip. Suppose this RCD is damaged, then if we press this button, then it will not trip. My recommendation is check this RCD once in a month by pressing this reset button. And about this MCB, we can't adjust the current of MCB. The same as here also, RCD, we can't adjust the ampere rating as well as this I delta N rating of the RCD. And about the number of poles of this MCB, we can see single pole MCB, two pole, three pole, up to four pole. But in the case of the RCD, here the poles available are only two pole and four pole. Because you know the RCD is working by sensing the current in neutral and phase. So it needs both the phase and neutral. We can use both of these devices for our domestic purposes, commercial and industrial purposes. I hope you understand the basic things between this MCB and RCCB. If so, please like this video and give me your valuable comments. If you want to get more videos with lot of information like this, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.